Okay, so it's uh, ALG Merc here, uh, and we are playing Just Cause 3 on the PC. Now, as you all will know, there's been several, well, many different graphical issues with this game. Uh, stuttering, we've had uh, FPS issues, and oh, loads and loads of bugs and glitches, and it hasn't been the smoothest launch. Um, however, there are a number of people who've been playing the game smoothly, but it all seems to be, you know, regardless of what spec they've got, so, um, yeah. Anyway, um, my PC, I'll post the specs of my PC in the, um, in the video description. Um, I've got a sort of mid, mid range PC, um, and I can, I can run the game with probably between, four, let's say, 40 to 55 frames per second, with the graphics on medium, medium high, um, I'll show you what the actually I'll show you what the graphics are now. If I pop into the menu, um, so vertical sync of resolution I find performs much better at 1600 by 900 than the, the 1080p resolution. Um, you don't really notice the difference that much unless you're sitting right up against the screen. Um, so SMAA text quality high, water detail high, water tessellation on uh, those two on medium. SAO on motion blur off edge fade on just because I like the look of it. Global illumination I think it looks better without um, screens place reflections on. I think the the depth of field I think that looks it smooths out the distant edges. Um, if you look at mountains and things in the distance with that off, they look a bit jagged. Um, anyway, so moving on um, with these settings, uh, prior to the fix that I've discovered, I was having horrendous stuttering problems when it was playable but the further I progressed with the story missions the worse I'm going to offline uh, the worse the uh, stuttering became so um, yeah basically I will run through what my fixes were so initially you'll see my specs are slightly different in the description I was running 8 gig of RAM um, with a, a, an AMD card uh, that was hopeless, so I changed that to NVIDIA. If you have an AMD card, um, I would recommend if you can afford it or if you can get a, a swap a card or something for NVIDIA. For this game, NVIDIA performs a whole lot better, um, in my experience. So, I've basically upgraded my RAM to 12 gig, uh, and as I say, upgraded the graphics card to an NVIDIA, uh, and that made a reasonable difference. Um, frame rate ran a bit better, the whole game was a bit smoother, um, but I was still getting the stuttering uh, and it was just it was getting worse and worse as I progressed through the game to the point that it was basically unplayable. Um, so I, I, yeah, I was just sort of thinking about it and thinking about it and then I, I, it suddenly hit me that when every time the stuttering happened and it, you know, it, everybody knows what happens, it drops down to about one frame per second can pause for you know a second to five seconds and it can be right in the middle of when you're trying to do something and uh, yeah like I say it was just basically unplayable um, so yeah what, what I noticed was that every time that the stutters happened um, I could hear the hard drive ticking away uh, and that, that sort of made me think hmm okay I wonder what, if, what that is and it sort of the thought process progressed from there that it was sort of making sense that it is when you're loading new scenery or when it's loading a lot of uh, textures, you know, like if you're in the middle of a battle and you've got lots of new enemies, explosions and things and it's it's struggling to load and looking at the task manager I can see that the disk, the hard disk was at 100% so it kind of made sense and I was thinking, well, what can I do about the hard drive? and then it clicked, I was thinking, ah, solid state drive you know, the, the idea of that is that the, the data transfer is far quicker um, and it, it, everything just happens almost instantly. With and it, it sort of it was an idea. I didn't know if it was going to work, um, but I went through with it. And uh, well, the answer is I'm not getting any stutters at all whatsoever. Um, it, for me, it's completely resolved the issue. No stutters. I'm running as you can see now, steady, sort of 40 to 50 frames per second. Probably drops to about 35 when you've got big explosions and things but no stutters at all whatsoever so what I'll do I'll um, we'll attack this military base here uh, probably fail uh, miserably but 
We'll uh, try and make some uh, big explosions. What have we got? We've got a uh, grenade launcher. That could be entertaining. Let's uh, give it a go. Take that out. Put up some fuel tanks. Let's see. Yes, lots of big explosions. Frame rate. Well, we're down to 30, 35. Maybe just under. Lots going on, and the graphics absolutely fine. No frame rate stutters, and uh, yeah, doing very well indeed. Oh, okay, we've got something going on there. Let's take out those fuel tanks. the video there. As I say, the, uh, the fix for me has been a, a solid state drive, perhaps a completely resolved issue. They, uh, they range from about sort of 50 to uh, 100, and, well in fact they range to about 500 pounds if you go for the terabyte versions, but for me I've just run 120 gig, um, which is about 50 pounds. It's enough to install the operating system on, that's what you've got to do, install the operating system on that, run Steam, um, and just cause 3, that's all I'm running, plus office software, um, everything else sort of store on, I've got two terabyte hard drives, uh, and everything else sits on there, and it just makes the game run a whole lot smoother. Um, I hope you appreciate this is my first sort of gaming YouTube video, um, so it's a, a new experience for me, uh, so um, it probably hasn't flowed quite as well as some of the experts out there, but... Uh, I've covered my solution, and uh, you know, if you want to see more, please subscribe, and uh, that will uh, inspire me to bring out some more videos, perhaps a bit more depth and with a bit more practice. Thank you very much. Goodbye.